Here's a tip on using a metronome. I'm sure many of you already have a metronome on your phones as an app, and those work fine. I prefer, however, a standalone metronome like this one, which also has a built-in tuner. But perhaps your app can do the things I'm about to show you in this series of tips coming up. The first one is the basics of a metronome. On the top of the device is a volume control. which can go down to zero. So if you're using it during an ensemble for whatever reason, or in a situation where you need to be quiet, or if you'd like a count off for a recording and you don't want it to be heard on the recording, just turn the volume down. Regarding hearing the metronome, this metronome is able to emphasize a given beat within any set of beats. So it can emphasize every third beat, for example. or every fourth beat. But I started it emphasizing every single beat. That gives it a higher sound. If you prefer a lower sound, just put it down to zero. You can also keep going below zero and get subdivisions to the beat. There's the first and fourth sixteenth notes. There's the first and third note of a triplet. I find this one very useful for some exercises I'll talk about later. And all three notes of the triplet. Or a simple subdivision. Take the beat, subdivide it in half. Another feature is this button right here that says tap tempo over it. If you're listening to a recording or a live performance or just have a tempo in your head, and would like to have your metronome set that tempo for you, you can simply tap it in and the metronome will try to guess the frequency at which you're tapping. Now I find that a little bit tricky. Maybe you're a better tapper than I am, more accurate. But let's give me a test here. I've got a separate metronome sitting over here. I'm going to put it to 120. Now I'm going to go to this metronome and simply try to tap in what I'm hearing. That's actually a better score than I usually get. I'm closer to the tempo than I often get. But suppose for a minute that the ensemble I was listening to was playing at 122. I can simply push the start button and it will play 122. You may notice that tempo doesn't exist if I just cycle through the tempos. And these numbers here represent the click stops you might have found on your standard metronome, the kind that have the swing arm that goes back and forth. You can defeat that, though, if you'd like to set a 122 on your own. If you push both tempo buttons together for a second, the metronome picture disappears, and then you can set it to any single number. 125, for example. Once you set it back again, the next time you push it, it will fall into one of those preset divisions. There's a first tip to get you started. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for listening.